Welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're diving into the latest Endeavor OS release called Mercury. So let's break it down. Before we get into the Mercury release, let's quickly talk about Endeavor OS itself. It's a user-friendly Arch-based Linux distribution that makes it easier to install and use Arch Linux without having to set everything up manually. If you've ever heard that Arch is difficult, Endeavor OS is a great way to experience its power with a much simpler setup. It's been a while since the last Endeavor OS release called Neo, so what took so long? Well, the developers had to deal with some technical challenges, like issues caused by the latest Linux kernel update, version 6.14, updates to the XFCE 4.20, and some problems with the installer tools such as SFDisk and Calamares KPM Core. But the main reason for the delay? Life. The team had personal commitments and one of the lead developers had been busy studying to become a certified programmer. That's actually good news because his new skills will improve Endeavor OS in the long run. Some people may worry that a slow release schedule means the project is dying. But don't worry, Endeavor OS is still very much alive. The developers have reassured everyone that they're not giving up. The only difference is that new version of the ISO may come out less frequently. Even when there isn't a new ISO release, Endeavor OS gets regular updates. If you're already using Endeavor OS and keep your system updated, you don't need to reinstall anything. The main reason to download a new ISO is for fresh installs, especially if you have newer hardware. Now let's talk about what's actually new in the Mercury release. This update brings several improvements to the Endeavor OS live environment and the installation process itself. Here are the key changes. Mercury comes with updated core packages. Calamaris Installer, version 25.02.1.4 Firefox, version 135.0 Linux Kernel, version 6.13.1 Mesa Driver, version 24.3.4 Zorg Server, 21.1.15 And NVIDIA Drivers, version 570.86.16 Mercury fixes a lot of issues and brings new improvements. The ISO now includes a memory test for EFI systems. BIOS and legacy installations, which had problems before, now work properly. Several desktop environments now use a dark theme by default, including KDE, GNOME, XFCE, MATE, Budgie and Cinnamon. XFCE's theme is now closer to its original look. GNOME will automatically switch wallpapers when changing between dark and light mode. The option to replace a partition during installation works again. The installer no longer shows duplicate entries for EFI selection. Endeavor OS branding is now easier to find for artists and media. Mirror lists are now ranked before installation and any changes you make during the live session will carry over instead of being reset. So what does all of this mean for you? If you're already running Endeavor OS and keeping it updated, you don't need to do anything. Mercury is mainly for new installations. If you were waiting for bug fixes in the installer or you want to install Endeavor OS on new hardware, now is a great time. Should you try Endeavor OS if you've never used it before? Well, that depends on what you want in a Linux distribution. Endeavor OS is great for people who want an Arch-based system without the complicated setup they like a rolling release model where you always have the latest software and enjoy customizing their system and learning more about Linux. However, if you prefer a set it and forget it experience where everything just works out of the box with minimal tweaking, a distro like Fedora, Ubuntu or Linux Mint may be a better fit. Installing Endeavor OS is pretty straightforward. The Calamaris installer is user friendly and now that the partition replacement option is fixed, it should be even easier. The installer lets you choose between different desktop environments and thanks to the improvements in Mercury, you'll start off with a polished and modern look. Overall, Endeavor OS Mercury is a solid update. Even though it took a while to arrive, the improvements make it worth the wait. The developers are committed to keep the project alive and even though future releases may be irregular, they'll continue providing updates and fixes. That's it. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.